Hello, dear ones, and welcome to another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. This is Z. I hope you are having a wonderful and blessed Friday, May 20th, 2016. I um, just was able to do a little bit of sharing of my testimony and to, to explain to some people how I came face to face with Jesus. You know, I was explaining that a lot of us, and I know some of you have already heard this testimony because you've been listening to my podcast, you know, sometime over the last four years, but we can sit in churches for years and years and years and years and not know the Godhead face to face. And that was my experience being saved at seven, but having no one to disciple me, even though I attended church for 20 something years, almost 30 years before I came face to face with Jesus Christ, you know, and that needs to stop happening. You know, he wants that to stop happening and it needs to stop happening because there are people out there who are struggling in life. Like they just don't get it. And they, they think that like I used to think wrongly, you know, that it's just somebody, some people's lot that these things, these bad things, these negative things were going to exist in their lives. And in a way that's almost true because of generational sin and iniquity, there are things that are, that some people are, are going to have to overcome because of the family line that they came from. Okay, well, that's fine because we can identify those things and with Holy Spirit's help, we can overcome and then walk into the abundance of Christ in that area. And that's what deliverance is about. That's what relationship with Christ is about. That's what spiritual maturity is about. As you grow, he begins to identify, okay, well, look, this is a pattern in your life. It's blocking the fullness of what I have ordained for you. So when he brings that to your attention or when you realize lies. Look, this has been an issue in my life, in my parents' lives, in my grandparents' lives, in my great grandparents' lives. You know, then you look at those things and you start to tackle them with Holy Spirit. Don't keep just living through those things with the expectation that that's what's going to happen. You know, I look at my life and and since I've woken up and and come into a real relationship with the Godhead, I'm tackling those things so that my son and his future generations don't have to experience those things just because they were experienced in past generations. I'm breaking those things as soon as I come into the revelation that they exist, that they've been patterns and things like that. I'm breaking those things so that they don't continue. My son is way more blessed than I am and will be in my life because he's growing up into a life of greater revelation than what I had. That can be the same for your life and for your family as well. And it should be the same. That's what God talks about throughout the Bible. He's always talking about generations. You know, this is why he always introduced himself as I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He wants you to know that he's got his eye on the generations, not just you. He's looking at what came before you. He's looking at what's coming after you. And what he's doing is he's showing you the possibility of the glory that is ahead if you would come into real relationship with him. So we need to stop. Um, That's one of the this is one of the problems that I have with Christmas now that I have understanding about Jesus. We need to stop portraying Jesus as a baby. He's not a baby. Yeshua is not a baby. Yes, he came into this world as a baby, but that was more than 2000 years ago. He is no longer a baby when he shows up on the scene now. And I can tell you this as a witness because I was sitting in my car back in March of 2011 was, and asked him to rescue me because I was going to I wanted to die. When he showed up, it was no baby that showed up in my car in the parking lot. It was a full grown God. You know, a full grown man, God, that's what he was when he walked this earth. He left this earth as a full grown man, not as a baby. So stop portraying him as a baby. Stop thinking of him as a baby. And when other people think of him about baby Jesus, stop that. Because when you think about a baby, what it puts in your mind is somebody who needs someone to take care of them, to, to, to burp them, to change their diapers, to bathe them. It paints him as a picture of somebody else who is in need. That is not the reality of who Yeshua HaMashiach is. He cannot be a Messiah if he is still a baby. And you need to grow up and mature in him. And you need to help other people grow up and mature in him as well. So stop portraying him as a baby Jesus. He is not a baby. He is a full grown God. Greater than anything that you could ever imagine. He's beyond what you can think, what you can form your little brain particles around. He's way bigger than that. He was bigger than that when he was here on the earth, even though he was fully man. 
You know, even then he was more man than any other man that ever walked on this earth or will ever walk on this earth. But he is no longer a baby Jesus. And stop thinking of him as a baby Jesus. You need to think of him coming in the fullness of power and the fullness of glory. Because that's exactly what he does when he shows up in a life. A baby showing up in your life cannot deliver you. A baby showing up in your life cannot save you from your sins. A baby showing up in your life is not the one who's going to heal you. Jesus, a, a full God in great power, great glory, great majesty, great authority is the one who shows up when you call on his name. And we have got to stop with this baby Jesus, baby Jesus, baby Jesus stuff. I know it's funny in um, the Ricky Bobby movie because I laughed about that when I saw the movie when he was praying to baby Jesus, but that no longer exists. Baby Jesus has matured. And that's exactly what we need to do as believers. That's what we need to do as disciples of Christ. We need to mature and stop with the baby Jesus and know who he is in his fullness and glory and authority and power. And that is God. That is God. So keep that in mind. I hope this this uh, teaching blesses you because there are still a lot of people out there who are who have it in their mind that, oh, we celebrate baby Jesus at Christmas. And then they walk away thinking, baby Jesus, baby Jesus, baby Jesus. No, you're not going to get the fullness of the deliverance that you need. You're not going to come into the fullness of relationship with him if you can't accept who he is. And he is no longer a baby. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, he is no longer a baby. He is full God, all God, big God, gigantic God. And that's who you need to know. That's who you need to come face to face with. That's the understanding and the revelation that you need to internalize. All right. I bless you in the name of the authority of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to visit me. I have one website where you can get to everything that I do. And it is ZariBanks.co. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.